welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for checking this video out. Um, I wanted to get on today and make a video. I just, I'm feeling really excited um, by so many changes and things that I'm starting to see and kind of these pieces of the puzzle that, you know, I've been trying to put together for so long, they're starting to really come together in the most amazing way. I was listening to this video by Laura Whitworth. She is a QHHT practitioner and she is absolutely adorable. I'm so grateful that I found her because her sessions are just so fun to listen to. Now, if you've never um, watched a QHHT session or, or do, if you don't even know what it is, it's um, quantum healing hypnosis technique. And it is a technique that was developed by Dolores Cannon, uh, I would say about 30, 35 or so years ago, where she started doing past life regressions with people, taking them back through past lives and actually started pulling in higher dimensional information. So connecting with beings who were not of the human form. <laughs> And you know, this was way back before any of this was available. You didn't have the internet. You didn't have um, Google to find out what is going on. And she just had to piece together this information on her own. So she developed this um, you know, technique to take people back into these past lives, but it also can take you into future lives. And it's really amazing the information that comes in. So I would definitely say, Check out Laura Whitworth. She is just amazing, so precious. Um, Suzanne Spooner is another one that um, I just recently started listening to, and her, um, her sessions are also amazing. And of course, Alba Weinman. And um, if, you, if you are on this path and you know anything about QHHT, um, you probably know who Alba is. She's amazing as well. So those are really great. And why I would recommend listening to them is because these are people who are under hypnosis and they're being taken back in time or even kind of forward in time, depending how you look at it. And they're accessing lives that their consciousness has experienced. So, you know, if somebody like me is on here trying to share this information, you can kind of go, yeah, maybe I believe her, maybe I don't. But when you're listening to a QHHT session, there is no possible way these people could be making up the stuff that's coming through. I mean, I guess there could be the, the occasional per person, but when you listen to them, you start to realize this information that is coming through, it is, it's absolutely coming from somewhere other than them, because I don't know about you, but there's no way that I could lay there for two hours and completely fake a hypnosis session just to, just to make up this information. So it's amazing to hear all of these different perspectives and perceptions and to hear um, higher dimensional beings come in that you can't imagine that you would get to, to, you know, kind of communicate with through these people who are under hypnosis. Um, I've listened to sessions with, of course, different um, extraterrestrial beings, the Pleiadians, the Arcturians, you know, the Archangels come through, Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron, and, and then of course um, Jesus has come through, and, and Mary Magdalene and Mother Mary, and it just goes on and on. And when you hear these beings come in in one person's session, and then you hear them come in through even another practitioner, you really can get a good sense of, of who that being really is. And that being, meaning the consciousness that has, um, the consciousness that played the role of that person like Jesus or Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, um, you know, you realize that they're more than just that physical form that they came in to play, that role that they were playing at that time you know, of, of their physical incarnation. So just really fascinating. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. So in Laura's video today that I listened to, she, um, it was, it was a session that a friend of hers did and she was transcribing it for, um, her channel. And it was, um, information on what's known as the event. So what the event is, or what the event is to most people, is an incoming wave of light, a very massive wave of light 
that sweeps over the planet and integrates within the human physical form and helps us to release a majority of the density that we've been carrying within the physical body that helps to raise the frequency enough so that we can make the bigger shift onto what's known as the new earth or 5D earth, you know, the fifth dimension. Now, I've been on this journey for a while and I just absolutely love to try to piece together what's going to happen. It's so exciting. You know, once you get past kind of the shock <laughs> of like, all of this new stuff that you never knew existed coming into your reality, um, you kind of move into this place of like, I absolutely cannot wait to see how this unfolds. And I kind of have created some analogies that I think are really, really helpful for what, no matter where you are on your journey, whether you're just starting out, you're just kind of waking up and, and wonder what's going on or you're, you know, you've been on your path for a while. But this experience, it's almost like, let's just say, you know, you're 30 years old and for 30 years of your life, you have lived in a house and that house has no doors and no windows, but your family's there and all of your needs are met and everything that you need is in that house. Um, and you've lived there for 30 years and everything that you've ever needed has been in that house. Everything that you've ever known has been in that house. And then, one day a door appears and you're like what is that and so you go over to the door and you open the door and you walk out and you're like oh my god <laughs> and you see that there's a sky and there's stars and there's a sun and a moon and there's trees and there's animals and maybe even other people that you didn't even know existed and you start to see all of these things that for 30 years of your life that's a long time that's a long time to us here um, you had no clue. You had no clue. Like no one told you that that existed. So this is kind of what it's like to wake up. It's, it's like you've been in the house for a long time. You didn't even know that there was the possibility of a door being there because no one ever told you what that door was. So, so it wasn't in your experience. It wasn't in your reality. But then it appeared. And when you walked through the door, you realize that there was a lot of stuff that no one ever told you about. I think that's a great way to think about what's happening to us and those who are kind of stepping into their awakening. You are, you know, walking through that door for the first time and you're starting to see things that you didn't even know existed in your reality. It's just, there, there was no possible way for that to exist, but now you're starting to see it. You're starting to understand it and, you know, kind of acclimate to this new information. So, um, I have no idea what is actually going to happen. I'm to a place on my own journey where I'm just like sitting back and I'm excited for whatever comes because I do know that where we're going is going to be the most amazing, beautiful experience that we could ever possibly imagine. And I believe that with all of my heart simply by the things that I have experienced and, and what I've gone through on my own personal journey. Um, if you listen to Laura's video, she shares a lot at the end about what we will experience on this new earth. And again, there are many, many different perspectives and to, to understand, you know, I don't think there's any way that we're going to know exactly what is going to happen. It's just a matter of kind of piecing different things together and then, you know, staying in this neutral place of we'll just, we'll just see how it, how it works out. But one of the things that she talks about in her video and one of the things that I have been really guided to talk about in a lot of my videos is understanding the frequency and understanding your frequency and understanding your vibration and your energy. And I know now that there is a reason why I've always been drawn to this information it's, and it's because this is what I came here to share and I came here to help people to understand. You know, this is kind of like the role I signed up for <laughs> in this ascension process. And, and I love it, I absolutely love it. I've been trying to get um, 
you know, friends and family members to um, understand the power of their mind and their thoughts and, and things like that. For a very long time, I just didn't know why I was so drawn to that information. But it is so important, and it's so important right now in this time that we're in that you really begin to understand how to um, raise your frequency and raise the vibrational, you know, the raise your vibration because all of the work that you can do on yourself, it radiates out from you and it helps everybody. It helps everyone around you. So a lot of what I've been going through over the last year has been about taking care of self and really working on going within and understanding you know understanding kind of what makes me tick what makes me respond the way that I do um, you know looking at the programming uh, the limiting beliefs and really beginning to let those go so when you think about all of these things that have kind of kept you inside that house so that house with no doors, not being able to see what's on the other side. You can kind of think of that as like this density that we hold within the body. And I'm not talking about your weight, your actual physical weight. I'm talking more energetically. So density to me comes in many varieties. And you can think of it as you know, some of the things that are, are, you know, the density within our body is like, so traumas, you know, something happens to you, you have, have a really bad experience and you hold that emotion inside, you know, you, you don't let it go, you don't release it. Maybe you've had something that you've experienced, you know, when you were young and you never processed it in the correct way you know I think I've, I've talked about this so many times in in past videos um, think of that energy that is created with, within the body as a physical just think of it like as a physical mass so the more things that the more experiences that you have uh, that hold a very low negative frequency low vibration those things are building up within the body and they're creating all of these blocks. But you can think of them as kind of like weighing you down, holding you down, holding you from connecting up to your higher consciousness. So other things that we hold within the body that also create this, this sort of density is um, limiting beliefs. You know, the things that you tell yourself, the, the, you know, I can't have this, I don't deserve this, I'm, I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough, you know, I'm not, I'm not enough. You know, all of these things hold density. They hold you down. They keep you, they keep you trapped in that house and, you know, not able to see what's on the other side of that wall. Um, programming, that's huge. Programming comes from all sorts of places like our parents, what our parents tell us and how they tell us to behave. And, you know, they, they've been programmed from their parents and we just pass it on. You know, this is how you're supposed to be. This is how you have to live. This is what you're supposed to think. You know, we control our kids because we, you know, feel like we have to. Um, but the control, if it's not done in the right way, it really creates for them blocks later in their life because they didn't, they didn't get an opportunity to kind of figure things out on their own. They were very controlled. So there's, there's just lots to that. There's programming that comes from, you know, our, our religious, um, you know, our religions, our churches that we go to. There's programming that we pick up from our education system, our friends, our families. All of this programming is kind of, you know, placed within us as an actual living thing, if you, if you will. It, it, it can block and, and trap energy from flowing freely because another analogy that I like to use is like, um, think, of, think, of, think of it like you have a box, okay? And when you are a young child, 
you're given this box and into your box you start to put all of these different things so you um, you put your your limiting beliefs in the things that you believe about yourself the things that you believe about the world the things that you believe about you know whatever you put your programming in you know things your parents have told you that you have to do or have to be things that your churches have told you you put all of these things in this box and you're carrying this box with you throughout your life and that's like your identity you know this is who I am and so when somebody comes along and tries to give you some new information or share something new with you you kind of look in that box and you're sorting and sifting to see if it matches up and that is how we view and perceive our world it's, it's like we have to dig through the box and see if we have something in there that kind of you know matches up with that and if we don't then it's up to us to say well are we open-minded enough to kind of let something new in or are we going to hold really tightly to our box of beliefs and our our box of programming because this is who I am and I can't be anything but what's in my box this is who I have to be I have to continue to be this person every day this is what my parents told me I had to be this is who I believe that I am for the entirety of my life I can't be anything different than what's in my box <laughs> So we're kind of going through this place right now where it's time to let go of what's in the box because the box is holding you down. The box is going to keep you small. It's going to keep you from opening and expanding your consciousness where you can start to see all of those higher dimensional things, all of this information that's starting to flow into us. It can't come into you until you release some of this density. So how do you do that? There are lots of really great ways. Um, I talk about meditation a lot because meditation is so important because it gets you out of your head. It's the thoughts that you're thinking and a lot of the thoughts that you're thinking tend to be from past experiences. So you're reliving those, you're, re you're bringing that energy up again. You're bringing it up over and over and over again, which keeps that density kind of stuck there within your body. Um, you know, we're, we're just always stuck in this kind of perpetual loop. So if we're thinking about the past, we're then projecting all of this, um, you know, these worries in the future because if, if this certain thing happened to, you know, this person over here, of course it's going to happen to me too. I'm going to have the same awful experience or whatever. So we just stay in this perpetual loop of bringing up the past, worrying, projecting it into the future, worrying, you know, having anxiety, feeling lack, feeling all these lower vibrational frequencies that keep you stuck down in the third dimension, that keep you kind of trapped behind the wall with, with no doors. So meditation is going to allow you to get out of your mind for a little bit and it starts to assist you in releasing that density, which is so important. Also, going in and really starting to look at what makes you tick and why. You know, why do you handle situations in a certain way? Why do you... Um, you know what what causes the anxiety within you what causes you to worry so much what causes you to be fearful of not having enough because all of these are programs and limiting beliefs that they need to be released and cleared it's just extremely important so meditation is really great with that um, just keeping your energy grounded and balanced, which you can do through, um, you know, taking salt baths and just, just learning how to work with your energy, understanding that you have a chakra system that runs through the center of your body and, and starting to learn different practices to help you work with the energy. You have energy that is running through you and around you and connecting to other people. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It does, and it's very powerful. And so it's really important to try and start to get control of that energy um, because once you can get control of your thoughts and get control of you know the, the emotion that you're creating, 
um, and you can do that again through the meditation, through quieting your mind, you're going to start to, to have your, your vibration, your frequency raise. And this is a good thing because what will happen is once you start to experience that, the, the frequency raising, that's when you're going to start being able to connect into the higher dimensional information. That's when the door is going to appear and you're going to be able to walk through it. And then your journey is really going to kick into gear. <laughs> So it's about letting go and releasing, letting go of things that no longer serve you. You just have to, you have to kind of let some things go in order to, um, in order to, to get that door to appear. Um, and, and the biggest thing is focusing on yourself. This is one of the things that I think so many of us have not done a really great job on is taking care of ourselves because we feel like we have to take care of everybody else first. And so think of that as also creating density within your your physical body, you know, because it's, it's like, what do they tell you on an airplane? Um, if, and I've never had this happen, thank goodness, because I think I would fall out of my seat. But put your mask on first before helping someone else because you can't do it if you're passed out. And that's what we've been doing for so long. We've been trying to help everybody else and do for everybody else. We've put ourselves last or we've done things based on what we think other people expect us to do. And that goes back to the programming. We haven't lived for who we truly want to be, what we truly want to do. We've done what we feel like society expects us to do and what we think, you know, we think is, you know, other people might look at us weird if we decide to do something that really speaks to our heart and really makes us happy. And, and those are all things that have held us back and, and kind of kept us in that, um, you know, the, the house with no doors. So according to Laura's video and many that I've watched, you know, there's, there's the possibility, the probability uh, of a massive shift happening. So we've been experiencing lots of shifts and I actually experienced this myself. Um, I'll go through a consciousness expansion and it, it's, it's amazing how all of a sudden all of this new information will come in. And it's like these puzzle pieces that just kind of fly together. It's, it's, it's amazing and it's insane all at the same time. I absolutely love it. Um, but her latest video is again, and I do feel this coming. If, you, if you're watching anything that's going on in the collective, you will see that things are starting to speed up. They're getting faster. There's a lot of stuff going on about Mandela effects right now, which I'm just absolutely loving. Um, if you don't know what Mandela effect is, again, that's another um, kind of mind bender thing that you can get yourself sucked into. Um, the Mandela effect is just people experiencing their reality a little bit different. So maybe you remember something one way and another person remembers it completely different and you both absolutely know that you are right. <laughs> so, but who's really right? Um, I believe it's a lot bigger than that and I was going to make a video on this a little while ago and then I thought, oh, there's so many people that are doing really great Mandela Effect videos. So just go search it if you're interested. There is one that I just found, um, a channel, it's called All Time, just all A-L-L-T-I-M-E. And I really love his videos. He'll do five new Mandela Effect videos and they're really cool. But just to give you a little example, um, what's one? So if, I don't know if you've ever watched like the movie Risky Business. Um, this has been one that's changed three times for me now. So the one that I remember is uh, Tom Cruise dancing in his underwear with a white button down shirt and these black Ray-Ban glasses. Now if you Google it, you see all these people who are dressed up in that costume for Halloween or for different events. They're, the majority of them are wearing the white button down shirt and the glasses. However, the movie is, it, it, when I first saw the Mandela Effect several months ago, um, he was still in the white button down shirt, but he did not have the glasses on. So that was completely gone from the movie and people were freaking out, like where did the glasses go? Because you see all these other people and they're, they're wearing the glasses. So that was a big iconic part of that movie. But now, <laughs> 
it's changed again. So um, now he still does not have the glasses on, but the shirt has changed to a pink striped shirt. <laughs> So I just find this stuff fascinating, and I, I do. I am starting to understand more and more what's happening, and we're we're collapsing these timelines that that are created. So timelines can create or can contain multiple versions of our reality. So there is a timeline where Tom Cruise was wearing the glasses and the white shirt, and there is a timeline where he was not wearing the glasses, and there's pr another timeline where he's wearing no glasses and a pink shirt, and who knows how many other timelines that were created, you know, that um, we can actually tap into. But what we're starting to see is a collapsing or emerging of those timelines, and I think it's just where you where you are aligning based on the frequency that you hold. So maybe your frequency is aligning you onto this more collective timeline where you're experiencing things one way and other people who are holding a different frequency are seeing their timelines a bit different. So again, I don't have all the pieces of that puzzle. It's definitely one of the things that I'm fascinated with and I love to kind of see how this is all you know how it's all going to turn out but definitely one of those things that you can check out if you're interested so if you're wondering why is it that different people are experiencing such um, such differences in their reality um, you know I've wondered this for a while like why am I seeing all of these things and and I'm able to connect into all this higher information. I'm able to, to communicate and talk with my guides and I'm having all this happen. And I'm not seeing a lot of other people uh, around me that are experiencing it. So another really great kind of analogy um, or example that I like to use is that of radio stations. Um, you know, we're like a radio transmitter. We, we are constantly sending and receiving signals and energy and we're processing that through our physical senses. We're processing everything through our touch and, and our, our eyes and what we hear. And all of those things, are, made, are they're all energy. Everything in our environment, everything that we see in our reality is made of energy and frequency. And that, or it's, it's all vibrating at a certain speed. And so... If you think of radio stations, you know, there's there's different radio bands. So you've got the AM stations and then you've got the if what in the AM stations they're you know, they're really crappy stations. <laughs> they're like, you know, staticky and sometimes you can't even get tuned into it correctly. And then you've got the um, FM stations and those sound you know way better. They're good reception. Um, but it's it's typically all music and um, you know, sometimes news and things like that. And then you have the XM stations, which is satellite radio. And that's kind of where you have everything, comedy channels and news and weather and sports and music and you have everything. So if you think about this shift and what we're going through, it's like we're changing those bands. We've been existing for all of our life um, in these AM stations. You know, we've been down here in the crappy stations, but we didn't know, we didn't, we didn't realize that they were crappy stations because that's just what we've lived in. That's what our parents lived in. That's what we've experienced. And we're now in a time period which is it's like we're going through an evolutionary jump you know if you look back in our history um, you can see t places in time where we've made this massive evolutionary jump and all of a sudden you know I mean if you go back into the 1700s let's just say and you told them that we now have these handheld devices where we can talk to people <laughs> on them um, with you know they they would be like you're crazy they would you know they wouldn't understand it if you if we tried to explain to them that we had x-ray machines and we were now creating you know organs that that work within people's bodies like there's no way that those people would even be able to understand that so we have been living it's kind of like being in that house we've been down here in the am stations not even aware that there was anything above that 
and we're now at this this energetic place where this the shift is happening again something that most people just aren't aware of it's not it's not part of your your reality it's not something that's taught in school so you know we don't really understand how all of this energy works and and how all this um, you know the quantum physics and things but so we are as a planet and as a collective when I say collective I just mean all the people on the planet you know the groups of people our energy is all working together to shift us up to a higher dimension or you can think of that as like we're going to a better radio station <laughs> or a better group of radio stations where we have access to more um, and that's that's kind of moving us from the third density or the third dimension up to the fifth dimension so I have no idea how that's going to happen. There are many people who think that it's just going to be a very seamless shift and we're not, you know, those those of us who are a starseed individuals who are actually here to do this work, we will know, we will see it, we will understand it, we will experience it, but there are going to be people that um, aren't even going to know that anything even really happened because, again, we're, we're kind of we're collapsing timelines and what I'm noticing like with the Mandela effect is our reality or our history is even changing and I haven't quite put all this together yet but I'm, I'm working on it <laughs> but um, I'm starting to see things in our in our history that are changing that didn't seem to be there before so I feel like we're completely changing you know our our collective reality all together so the question is are we just going to kind of gradually merge and shift things where most people won't even know you know if you're not looking for all this stuff if you're not aware you don't know to go look for it you would never know to go look for the Mandela effect unless somebody told you to go look for it <laughs> and go see you know see what's happening um, one of the things that I will say, you know, Mandela Effect that um, all time on his channel he talks about was these things called dazzle ships. And I thought this, this just really stuck out to me. These were warships that um, were around back in World War I. And they were painted with these vibrant, bright, like Picasso-like paint jobs on these warships. Now, for me, if I think back to... If somebody says what does a warship look like I'm gonna think gray plain gray ships right you might think that too but if you go Google it the reality has shifted to now we have these brightly painted vibrantly beautiful ships and um, this color scheme was used to confuse the enemy now how that works I have no clue but I find it fascinating and what stuck out to me was Seeing, um, you know, this to me seems like a, a higher vibrational way of of creating a warship than just painting it gray. <laughs> so maybe as we're shifting up through the radio stations, you know, we're we're letting go of the density, we're letting go of the things that have held us back. All of the stuff that we're seeing is coming to the surface, coming into our awareness and to be released and the more that we can release and let go of and and shift our actual reality is starting to change so what is this new earth experience going to be like i don't have a clue i i'm like super excited i i just i can't wait um it could be a a big event it could be a big sweeping event that comes in and really helps everybody to release the density or it could be a very gradual process. And I actually think we have a little bit of control in that because it just depends on where the energy of the collective is. So how can you help this process? Um, how can you help this shift? Because every single one of us are part of this, whether you're a star seed, whether you're here to do this work, whether you're a light worker, or whether you're just somebody that just found this channel by accident and, and you're like, I don't know what she's talking about. I will tell you the best thing that you can do is to work on you. To really focus on going in deep, finding those limiting beliefs and letting them go. 
finding all that programming, all that resistant programming that has kept you very limited, you know, start letting go of stuff that's in your box. It's okay. It really is okay to let go of those things that you've identified with for so long. It's okay to start stepping out into this whole new experience because I promise you it is so beautiful and so exciting and a little nutty, a little nutty. I won't, I won't, <laughs> I won't lie about that. But it's amazing. And what you will notice is when you start to let go of the density, when you start to let go of the programming, the limiting beliefs, and the fear, and the anxiety, and the worry, knowing that you have the ability to create and define your reality and your experience exactly the way that you want it. The more that you can shift out of that you know, out of that lower, those lower frequencies, those, that lower radio station, and you can start getting up into the FM stations, you can start moving towards the XM stations. It opens up and expands your experience in so many ways you can't even imagine. And I can tell you that my guides for the last year, you know, have told me over and over and over again, it's not necessarily as important for me to share this information so much. There are, there are amazing teachers that are here to do just that. That was what they signed up to do. They, they came here to deliver this information. Um, I, I've been kind of one of those ones where I'm more of a, of a light anchor. I, I have the ability to anchor light and to hold light and to hold space. And that's what I do. Um, but I don't even know where I was going with that. I just lost my train of thought. The more you can release, the lighter you become. And I'm not necessarily meaning physically, although I do believe that that is going to happen eventually too because we can't carry all of this density into this lighter reality. But let's work energetically first. It's, it's about energy first because you create everything energetically and then it manifests in the physical. That's another really good point. Um, when you are thinking thoughts about whatever it is, you are creating that energetic that is going to manifest into the future, okay? So you're constantly doing that. So what you're thinking about right now is going to manifest in the future in some way. So one of the, another one of the things that I've worked on this year is really learning how to stay in the present moment because the present moment is the most important part of your day the now moments, not thinking about the past, not talking about the past, not worried about the past, and definitely not worried about the future, but staying present in every now moment. It is so critical because it gets you out of that loop and it helps to release the density and it helps you to create and manifest the reality that you want to live in. And, oh, I know what I was saying. Now it, it takes me back there. Um, you know, my guide said it's so much more important for you to lead by example. So as more people are starting to wake up and they're starting to come into this confusion and, and like, what is going on? And I'm starting to see things and hear things and experience things that are outside of what I physically knew existed. Um, you know, it's they're going to look to people who are kind of a little bit ahead of the process. And I can sit here and tell you all this all day, and then you can go to another teacher or another channel, and they can tell you something that's similar but slightly different. And then you might go over to another channel, and their information is very different. All of that is okay. All of this is coming in to help different people figure out where they need to go. And what I've come to understand is it's more it's more important that you're receiving the, the vibration, the frequency that I'm giving out than it is the words that I'm speaking. So I am helping to attune your frequency so that that helps you to connect to more information as well. But don't worry so much about trying to figure out exactly how it's gonna happen because I do believe that something great is coming. Just know that you play a role in that, whether you believe it or not. And the way that you can really um, play the best role is to just really work on yourself. Get into that meditation. Start letting go of the program. Start letting go of the limiting beliefs. Know that you are a powerful creator. 
you're an amazing person and you know we came here to learn lessons and for soul growth and it's time to kind of let go of those things that we've done and things that we've experienced and realize that we have this opportunity to create a whole new experience that is so beyond what anyone can imagine and if you're not there yet because you're still kind of stuck down there in the am stations and especially if you're watching what's going on on the world stage and you're watching things fall apart that's okay know that that's okay know that it's needed it is it is absolutely needed we are exactly where we need to be we're right on course we're right on track but you can assist uh, not only yourself but you can assist the entire world simply by learning how to raise your vibration raise your frequency and that doesn't mean I do want to point this out because that doesn't mean that you have to be in a high happy place all the time um, our negative feelings our negative emotions are there for a reason and they're there to show us things that we don't like so that that helps to push us more towards things that we do so those are good what you don't want to do is you don't want to get trapped and stuck in them so if you're feeling a low negative emotion allow that to come up allow it to come up and sit with it and and acknowledge it and you know when I'm starting to have a really low feeling I can just bring it up and I can say you know what this is how I'm feeling I'm feeling crappy I don't like it <laughs> but I know it's there for a reason and it's there to show me that this experience is not the experience that I want to continue to have so it pushes me into the direction of what can I do and how can I shift into something that does feel good that does make me happy that does you know put me into more of a, a, a bliss or more of a you know just a, a, a good state of being um, so the low negative emotions don't push them down let them come up let them come up I mean you know we all have we all have the, the the good and the bad the yin and the yang the dark and the light we all have it within us we all have done really awful things and we've all done really amazing things it's about bringing those two sides of yourself together in in perfect balance and perfect harmony it's integrating the dark with the light that is that it's it's not about you know pushing one off to the side and and pretending like you don't have that aspect of yourself you do welcome it in acknowledge it say you know i know that i do this i know that i act this way i know that i've been this way in the past i accept it i forgive and i let go i let go of holding on to that emotion and holding on to that pain and holding on to that suffering because i don't need it anymore it's not doing any good for me at this point so let it go integrate it bring it back together and all of these things are going to continue to raise your frequency and raise your vibration and the more that you can do that the closer you're going to get to that door appearing so that you can step out and step into a world that you didn't even know existed and that's the fun part that's where the fun begins or maybe not <laughs> it just depends it depends on where you are but um, I hope some of this information helped I just got really excited when I watched Laura's video because um, she's definitely bringing forward information about a, a definite event she tends to think it's gonna happen around the elections um, next year because this is our political uh, the political uprising is a big part of this I just want everybody to know it is hard to watch try to watch it from a neutral place where you don't feel triggered but know that this is exactly what is needed right now because most people are so not aware of, of the depth of the corruption that's happening in our government in, in our you know in all these these control systems if you will and so if you're not aware of it you can't you can't you know you you would just continue living life as you always have because you wouldn't know any different so this has to come up all of this darkness has to come up it has to come up into the light but it's okay because it's 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 happening for a purpose so don't worry about that do your best not to worry about what is going on in the world it's the most important thing for you to focus on you and get yourself in the best possible highest vibration 
that you can because that is going to shift what you experience and it also helps to shift the other people who are around you. So go watch Laura's video. I'm going to link it down below. Um, check out some of the QHHT practitioners um, and, you know, just hang in there because this is the wild, bumpy ride, but it's really getting exciting. So I hope you found some information helpful and I will talk to you soon.